Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of a comparison today. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a deer leg and a set of deer ribs and I'm going to put it in front of some ballistics gel and pretty much make a simulated deer. And I figured I'm going to do this, you know, with two different bullets and do a little comparison. So I decided I was going to use the 450 Bushmaster here on the left and then these two on the right are both the 6.8 SPC. Um, both, this is a 250 SST, this is the 120 SST. And here on the right, I have the 120 MKZ from Cavity Back Bullets. This is what I used hunting this year, so I figured if the gel and the you know the ribs, everything hold up, I'll take a shot with that too. But the main comparison would be between the two SST bullets since they're the same construction. Um, the Cavity Back Bullets, they're all copper bullets. So you can see here, um, these are both 120 grain. The all copper is a hair taller, so they have a cavity in the back of the bullet that will allow you to use the same amount of gunpowder and then you can see here there's um, little slits here there's actually three of them these open up in three petals and expand very well so um, hopefully that everything holds together and I can do a comparison with All right, so start out with the 6.8. As you can see, it a little bit high. Well, it made it through the first 12 inches and stopped, I would say, about an inch and a half into the second block. So you're looking at about 13 to 14 inches of penetration. I'll have to measure that. Now, I knew these bullets are going to be shooting a little bit high because they're a little bit faster than the ones I'm sighting in with. So I purposely aimed low. I don't think I actually really hit um paper towel is stuck to this i think i hit a little bit higher than i was expecting you can see the bullet entered here completely destroyed i was trying to avoid the leg moan um paper towels i was trying to dry this off i had to run it through some water to defrost it this morning but it just shattered that leg bone went through these ribs blew the ribs Hit the top of a rib, blew the top of the rib clean off, and then still managed to do that much damage and penetrate. And the bullet looked like it held together pretty well. All right, so I spun the blocks around. You can see 450 came in. Nice wound channel. That's the wound channel from the 120 SST, so the next block. You can see the 450 bullet over here. Go around to the other side. Get a little better look at the wound channel this way. Came in there, came to rest there. Now one thing I forgot to mention on the last video is the bullets always seem to come in sideways with the 450. When they open up, they're almost like balls, so they don't really stay too stable. And there's a chunk of bone there. Uh, ribs obliterated. Let's see, gel is pretty messed up. And I tried to hit the leg bone again with the 450, and it looks like i did a good job came in here blew this thing pieces kind of hard to say you know where the entry and exit is but safe to say the 450 definitely dumped a little bit more energy
See, this time I was using the 120 MKZ, which is an all copper bullet. You can see here it came in very nice wound channel, very similar to the 450 underneath it. And the bullet stopped right there, pedaled back perfect. Almost, you know, you can see where the 450 stopped here, and this one's only right there. Now, I don't know, looks like I did get the shoulder blade a little bit. Um, I got through the shoulder blade. I think I just nicked the top of the ribs. So I'm going to take one more shot with these and see if I can get a hair lower right through the actual shoulder blade and everything and see how they do. Okay, so I took another shot with the 120 MKZ. Came in just below the other one, almost identical. And I did get perfectly through the shoulder and the ribs, so it did stop a little bit shorter than the other bullet. Still good penetration. You can see the triangle hole right there, right through it. I took out two ribs. And then on the shoulder, it went perfectly right through the shoulder blade. You can see the entry. Small little entry there, and then it's bigger inside. I'm not going to play around with this too much, but this gel is completely destroyed now. Hey guys, so got the bolts pulled out of the gel and everything. Um, so we're going to start on the left here. The 450 got 20 inches of penetration, and it also lost 38 grains. Uh, it ended up with a final weight of 212 out of the 250 and it also expanded to 0.76 which was the widest bullet so it got wider than the other ones and deeper penetration. Now the 120 SST got 15 inches of penetration and opened up to 0.5 of an inch and it shed half of its weight ended up at 61 grains so you know it lost 59. And then both of the 120 MKZs here on the right they retained all of their weight. The one here on the right, expanded a little bit more. This is the one that hit the ribs and the shoulder. This one opened up to 0.73, or this one opened up to 0.71, so um, pretty close. Um, and these bullets, the one that hit the ribs and the shoulder, got 15 inches of penetration, so same as the SST. And the uh, one that did not got 18 inches of penetration, so almost caught up to the 450. Um, and the interesting thing that I saw was if you look at the slow mo shots, 450 the wound channel seems to be a little bit more narrow and long it, you know the temporary wound cavity stretches into the second block where with the SST it's all in the first block it's more explosive and it tapers off very fast um, the 120 MKZ seems to be more like the SST with the instant um, you know energy dump but it does stretch a bit further um, and it does go into the second block a little bit but not like the you know the 450 did so it was an interesting comparison at this distance the 450 is a heavier round with much more energy so i kind of expected it to be the best one but um, i do have one more deer shoulder and one more set of ribs so i'll be doing some more comparisons if you guys have any recommendations of what guns or whatever to use if i have them i will uh just you know tell me in the